Welcome to KDOT's Mastering Open Roads Designer Training Series, Survey Data Import Topic. Uh, this is video number seven, where we continue our look at Explorer and how to review imported survey content in Explorer and how to make some corrections as well. Back in Open Site Designer, and I'm looking at the survey pane again. <clears throat> It was this file with the TM suffix in its name. That's the one that uh, that had the problem in it. So let's remove that from the data import. So I'll right click on that file and we'll choose delete. And we've just removed all the survey data that was imported from that file, the entire import event. Now we'll re-import. the corrected CSV file that we created. Same import process as before, we're just speeding up the playback so you don't have to watch the whole thing again. And if we push the finish button, the data is re-imported, and those oddball feature definitions are no longer, or those feature codes are no longer um, imported. So let's take a look at the trees. Take a look at the details there. And it was TM1224 was the point. There it is. So now we see that purple haze ball coming to that location. And I can see that I now have a single point that's on the tree code. So we successfully corrected the problem. Now, if you've watched some of the survey training that's available from other sources, um, Bentley Learn Server, for example, you may have noticed that at Survey Import, there is a feature to automatically create your original ground terrain model. This is not happening with the KDOT workspace because we've turned that setting off. So the KDOT survey workflow is going to allow manual terrain creation after survey data import. And that's going to allow, you know, a deeper review of content that was imported um, and, you know, a thorough uh, quality control process of the, the definition of that original ground terrain model. The workflow for building original ground terrain model in the Kansas DOT survey workflow is uh, not going to be covered in this training. There'll be a separate training developed in the near future that captures the, the method of doing that. Please continue with us in video number eight where we will start preparing our data for creating the 2D topo file.